Hey friend, welcome to the top most up and coming gaming tavern on the internet. Join me, uh, your host, Alien Adventure, as we explore the different adventuring worlds we can get our hands on. As you can see, I'm trying out a, a new microphone with the hopes of improving our audio setup. I'm not sure if uh, you can see it from this angle, but um, it's a condenser microphone, and I hope. Uh, this has improved somewhat my audio from my past videos so let me know in the comments if it is a big improvement or do you think it's it's not good so we keep on learning new things as we go even on uh, video production actually so for tonight I'm actually starting a new series called the underdog adventures where we play an underdog character from the Undisputed game and we go against any player, uh, be it ranked or online quick play, uh, with an increased level of dif difficulty since we're uh, playing an underdog, right? So, uh, of course, I'm not expecting to win 100% with this new format, uh, but if we do, uh, I'm sure it will give you a good show, right? This is for you guys. All right, in case you're wondering, with the Kilkenny Irish Cream beer to your screen on my left, which is, uh, I think, to your right, uh, this is actually for you, right? Um, this is my uh, offer you, uh, uh, my, my drink offer you to you for tonight. Um, if you're not a beer drinker, then just grab onto any drink of your choice, be it uh, wine, uh, coffee, or tea, or just water. Uh, just you know, while watching this uh, new series, uh, I hope you're or you're sipping on any beverage of your choosing. All right. So without further further ado, let's uh, get on to the action. Welcome to the WBC Arena. What a night. We expect So I'm playing as Josh Taylor, which is uh, the player to the right. And I'm going up against Ryan Garcia, which is used by uh, gamer tag Steve Palpatine216. He has uh, 46 wins, 24 losses, and zero draws. They call him Flash. So, coming into this match, I decided to use uh, Josh Taylor, though I think on the overall level, he has a slightly a higher overall rating than uh, Ryan Garcia, but I noticed that he's one of the lesser used uh, characters from the game, and um, he's not that much versati uh, versatile in the game. And uh, there's some uh, flaws to his style. I think he he's not as fast as as, as Ryan's uh, character from the game, uh, which is why uh, I chose him. Uh, I think he's uh, he'll be uh, you know something someone good to watch uh, as we go. Around. So this player is quite aggressive, um, he's doing combination punches uh, to my body and to my face, uh, but I'm just uh, utilizing my uh, side punches, moving to the side, uh, side hooks and um, diagonal dodges as well. Yeah, so the thing is with Josh Taylor, he's a, a left-handed fighter and um, he's going up against someone who's right-handed, right uh, utilizing the orthodox stance. So the trick with southpaws, uh, if you're fighting against an orthodox boxer, is uh, you have to race against uh, going into the outside um, area of uh, your opponent. Whoever controls the outside controls the match because um, 
once a fighter goes to the outside, which is if you're a left-handed fighter, it, it's to your right. Whoever gets to the right, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, and if you're right-handed, you have to go to the left. Once you get there, it's easy for you to nullify your um, opponent's left hand, right? So if you get out of the left hand, you can easily uh, your 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 ba your opponent is basically um, disarmed uh, f from from one of his weapons, and you can actually fire off with your with your straight or with your um, left hook to the face or to the body easily. So this is my tactic uh, going into this match. He's protecting his head pretty quite well. He dazed me there with a right hook to the head. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Right punch. Stunned him there with a stiff jab. Gave me a stiff jab of his own. The thing is with Ryan Garcia is uh, he has a good left hook either to the body or to the head. Uh, that that's his signature style and he's also known for his uh, power punching speed he's one of the current uh, boxers who can really uh, punch really fast without their uh, opponent seeing unless of course they, they control the distance so the thing is with Ryan you have to, to control the distance so that he won't be able to use his, his speed against you. Yeah, so if you noticed, I uh, this is the second time I fast forwarded the uh, in between the, the rounds. Um, I noticed this player likes to take his time uh, in between rounds. Um, it's actually quite annoying, really, uh, if, if the player takes up the, the whole minute in between rounds because it's kind of like a time waster for me. Um, I would understand if uh, it would take like 5 to 10 seconds just to, you know, stretch your fingers and, and wipe the, the sweat off your palms uh, or probably take a sip of water in between rounds. But if you take the whole minute for every round, Man, that's there's something wrong with you, man. I, I, I don't know why you guys do that. Shout out to the box guys. Good luck trying to count the punches that these lighter. Yeah, I'm trying to control the distance here. Trying to bait him to punch me instead of me punching him first, so that I can do. Uh, I can counter with my own punches. I'm trying to sparsely throw punches unless I think it would absolutely land. So when I'm doing my diagonal dodges, I'm not I'm not immediately firing off any punch. I'm trying to see how he would react if he would cover or if he would punch. You know, I'm just trying to study my opponent. In this case, he's really covering up. And doing well at that. Coming into the last seconds of round two, it's more of a defensive style for him for this round. 86 and 74. Still looking good. Winning three rounds so far, all the three rounds. Turn it around here. He knows 
knows who's been here. He's gonna come up and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kick to you. As you see, I'm I'm coming low, coming in low with uh, the jabs and the straights to the body before I go high. So he can uh, cover to the body before I, I pummel him on the face. Okay, so um, some facts about uh, Josh Taylor for those of you who are not in the know. He was born on January 2nd, 1991. He is a Scottish uh, professional boxer. He was uh, he is a former undisputed super lightweight champion, having held having held the IBF and WBA titles between uh, 2019 and 2022, the WBC title between 2021 and 2022, the WBO title between 2021 and 2023, and the Ring Magazine title between 2019 and 2023. At regional level, he held the Commonwealth Light Welterweight title from 2016 to 2017. And as an amateur, he won a lightweight silver medal at the 2010 Commonwealth Games and lightweight, light welterweight gold at the 2014 edition. From May 2021 to May 2022, Taylor reigned as the undisputed light welterweight champion unifying all four major titles in the division and being only the sixth male boxer to do so. With his win over Jose Ramirez in 2021, Taylor became the second Scotsman to be an undisputed champion and the first Briton to do so in the four belt era. There was a bit of an action there towards the end. As you can see, uh, my opponent's face is turning red from all the power punches that I'm throwing this to his face. But he's still not, uh, he's still not uh, dazed. We're not getting knocked out anytime soon. And my character is also <laughs> turning pink on his face as well. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. So, Josh Taylor is nicknamed the Tartan Tornado for his aggressive boxing style. Taylor's knockout to win percentage stands at 68%, which is quite high. And as of May 2022, he is ranked as the world's best active light welterweight by BoxRec and the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board as well as the seventh best active boxer pound for pound by the Boxing Writers Association of America and ninth by the Ring Magazine. So Josh's record, uh, he has 19 wins. Uh, 13 of those are coming from knockouts. He only has one loss and zero draws. His one loss came from Teofimo Lopez in June 2023 via unanimous decision. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this? So I hope Josh fights again this year. I'm looking forward for him, uh, I mean to him fighting maybe at least two times, two to three times for 2024. Being that he's still young, he only has like uh, 20 fights to his record. I think he's one of the uh, promising boxers coming out from the UK. Let's start to six. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? So I gave him a good hook there, right hook to the head. Stunned me there with a straight, power straight. Okay. Yeah, some trivia for you. Josh was uh, also a junior Taekwondo champion when he was a kid. And uh, he actually turned to boxing at age 15. Yeah, so he's he's quite of an athlete in that regard. He's been showing exceptional chins, by the way. 
Okay, rocked him almost there. Making him miss uh, his head punches by my diagonal dodge. I'm doing good on my uh, si sidestepping punches. Okay, that, that was a good combination, one-two combination to my head. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shot. That could be the real difference. Rock me there. He's waiting his time. <laughs> he wants me to uh, go to him and charge him. While he's playing defensive, he wants to be defensive. Uh, I don't think he has that much stamina at this time. Rock me again. Yeah, round six is, I think, his round. Okay, I'm still fast forwarding it. So I'm still winning all six rounds on the records. Oh, got me there. I don't know what it is with players who really take their time uh, in between rounds. Is it a tactic that you guys use to kind of bore? You want you to bore your opponents to death? You know, take away the momentum? Kinds of it kind of kind of like takes out the excitement from, from the game in that, in that sense. Okay, I'm missing some of my straights and my left hooks, but my uh, right punches are connecting. What do you think, guys? Uh, should Josh Taylor fight against uh, Tiafimo Lopez? Should they have a rematch again in 2024 from their last fight? Put it down in the comments. Don't let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. I'm missing a lot of shots here on this round but I'm just trying to be careful you know this is underdog adventures remember I'm not using the best uh, highest overall boxer there is in this uh, weight division there you go stunned him there giving him some body punches Punching to the head. Fortunately, I didn't get him. Yeah. And we enter the eighth round. Round eight. Round was a nightmare. Gesturing to him there, you know, teasing him a little bit. That left lands. Utilizing my weaves, making him miss his punches while uh, countering with my head punches from my own. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to. Yeah, trying to deplete his stamina by making him uh, miss his punches by blocking it. Uh, the tactic is actually good when uh, you block their punches and you counter with your own as long as you block their punches successfully they're just trying to figure out how they're gonna deal with it yes they need to be offensive and defensive it's just trying to figure out which puzzle fits them. gesturing to him there again Punch. 
there you go. I actually didn't know that I knocked him out because he was still standing. Yeah, the animation wasn't clear on that one. But yeah, that was a KO. That was a KO win for me. Josh Taylor defeated Ryan Garcia in a flash KO. Yep, winning this one, folks. Winning all rounds, 70 to 63, with a 66% punch percentage. Yep. That's it. So, I hope you enjoy that. That's it for tonight, folks. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And uh, I hope you hit that thumb button if you like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you still haven't done so. Until next time, this is Alien Adventure signing off.